Okay, and speaking of tulips, well, they're one of the best ways to get beautiful blooms at the beginning of the growing season. But I know of two tulips that can stay with you all year long. So let's spend some time with the Upside Down Tulips podcast producers, Christy Montour Larson and Edith Wise are here with some tips and some laughs. Christy, Edith, oh, it's so awesome to see you ladies again. You always make my day. Okay, so I have to address this before we start. Yeah. I, my allergies are so bad. Why? Why are they so bad, guys? Oh, probably because it was raining so much and all the plants just went pop. <laughs> well, yeah. they popped right up my nose. So it's oh. fantastic. I know. I'm so sorry. You're chock full of mucus. So sorry. And, and you know so what? Effective. It happens. Yes. Yeah. And it happens to the best of us. We're all human, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Well, okay, Christy, let's start with you here. You guys have this incredible thing going on. So why did you start Upside Down Tulips? Well, Edith and I are neighbors. We're friends. Yes. And we're both in the theater and we love to garden. And when the pandemic happened and all the theaters closed down, we were left going, now what? What do we do now? <laughs> and because there are 20 million new gardeners out there, we thought, well, maybe we could be of help. We, we're, we're not experts. We are just Colorado backyard gardeners, but we learned a lot from our mistakes. So we thought, hey, let's start a podcast. Yeah, and we were bored. It wasn't just that we were altruistic. We were really <laughs> bored. We have all this creative energy. We need to do something with it. Something. Well, we're so happy that this is what you decided to do with it because, hey, you guys have made something so amazing. Your podcast is fantastic. I want to get specific with you guys. And, and Christy, I hear that you're the expert on this because we have some cocoa questions. And, you know, I am one of those people who is a new gardener. So let's, let's kind of delve into this. Why is deadheading so important and what plants should get deadheaded? Because I'm clueless here. Well, when we talk about deadheading, we're not talking about followers of the Grateful Dead. Although we have nothing against the followers. <laughs> um, deadheading is removing old, dead, faded flowers from plants so that one, the plant looks nicer, uh -huh. but two, you're also encouraging the plant to give us more flowers. Yeah, and that is because if you don't, the plant will try to put seeds on that, on the, where the bloom is. And um, that then you will have less blooms, right? Oh. Yeah, prevent the plant from doing that. In fact, yeah. I can even show you how if you want to see it. Please, because okay. again, you lost here. Okay, so here, <laughs> here is just a regular pot of plant with some petunias and a uh, geranium. And when you deadhead, you don't want to just deadhead the flower. You also want to move all the way down to the base stem of the plant. And you can use your fingers or you can use a pruners and nip it up. The same is true with these petunias here. See, look at that. I can even just use my fingers here and nip off this part. I'm going to nip this off. I'm going to this. Oh, this is off. This is dead and faded. And it makes the whole plant look cleaner, neater. And we're encouraging Mother Nature, hi there, to give us more flowers to enjoy throughout the summer. And I don't know if you can see, but there's already new little tiny blooms. So that's oh. what we're encouraging. And you know what a great time to do this is, is before you go on vacation. Give it a really healthy deadheading. And when you get back, it'll all be full of blooms. All right, well, I'm gonna start deadheading. Thank you so much for letting us know what we need to do there. Edith, let's yeah. talk about veggie garden dangers, because as you know, I have a jalapeno plant. One of the dangers is bugs eating your plants. And the other danger is if you use bad chemicals on the bugs, which will kill everything. So you can make your homemade with things you probably have in your kitchen. This is homemade bug spray. Take an entire bulb of garlic, take a small onion, take um, cayenne pepper. So first you puree the garlic and the, the onions together. Puree this with a cup of water. It'll come out like a big mash. So, and then put it in a strainer and strain it out, the liquid. Add one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So then you've got a cup of water with these three things in it. Let it steep for a few hours. Then put it in a quart jar, add water, and add one tablespoon of Castile soap because it's clean, no detergent soap. And bugs hate the taste of it. They hate, oh. the, they hate the taste of And then there you have 
your homemade bug spray. Excellent. And like you said, it doesn't kill anything. It just keeps the bugs away. That is so fantastic. Well, ladies, before we get to where we can listen to you, I want to ask you both, what's your proudest gardening moment? You go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I love herbs and I have grown so many herbs that I can make my own Herbs de Provence, which I give away as gifts, including in here are lavender buds from a lavender plant that I grew from a seed. Oh my gosh. A lot of that. That's impressive. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my goodness. I love that. <laughs> what else we got? Uh, my proudest moment was the first time I ate one of the peaches that I grew from a tree that I planted, pruned, nourished, and all of that stuff. Mm, sounds delicious. It was fantastic. Well, ladies, if people want to listen to you, where can they do that? Um, UpsideDownTulips.com is our website, and we are available wherever people want to listen to your yeah, podcast. Yeah, everywhere. Edith Christie, it's such a pleasure to chat with you ladies again. We're going to have plenty of questions for you next time, so get ready. Oh, great. We're ready. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. You. Bye. You can get in the garden with the Upside Down Tulips, Christy Montour Larson and Edith Wise. Listen to their podcast wherever you get podcasts or at UpsideDownTulips.com. If you want to learn more about becoming a producer of your own podcast, check out HouseOfPod.org and join the community.